Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the bald explorer, and I'm out on another walk. I'm walking again with songwriter and performer Nick Tan. Unfortunately, when filming this walk, I lost the audio file due to a defective recorder, so I'm voicing this afterwards. But I hope it won't spoil your enjoyment of the video. Nick wanted to take me on a walk around the impressive Hospital of St Cross in Winchester, Hampshire. Under King Alfred's reign, Winchester was the capital of England, long before London took that title. The Hospital of St Cross and the Almshouse of Noble Poor, to give it its proper title, is of medieval construction, founded between 1132 and 1136. Wikipedia claims that it's the oldest charitable institution in the UK. It was founded by the grandson of William the Conqueror. We're walking alongside one of the many tributaries or irrigation channels of the Itchin navigation to the south of the city, close to St Catherine's Hill. These streams were deliberately cut by the monks who lived at St Cross not only to drain water from the meadows, but to flood them when necessary to thaw snow or frost in order to protect the grass and feed the sheep. Once through the kissing gate, the splendour of the hospital comes into view. The word hospital is deceptive, for nowadays we think of municipal buildings with ambulances and full wards and ill patients awaiting care. The word, in its old sense, means hospitality, meaning a charitable place of rest. Pilgrims, visiting abbeys, monasteries, nunneries and other places of worship, often go to see the relics, the bones of some ancient saint, and they'd be put up in a hospital, rather like a hotel these days. If weary and unwell, they would be cared for by the monks or other lay people. Grazing in the surrounding meadow are British White cattle. They belong to a herd owned by the Hampshire and Isle of Wight Wildlife Trust, who are in partnership with the Hospital of St Cross and Winchester City Council. The British White are a light-footed cattle, and they're used to graze St Faith's Meadow to the east, while new meadow plants become established. To my mind, they look just right in the environment, and it's wonderful to see them grazing, unperturbed by us human interlopers. Let's head up and have a closer look at this magnificent building. As the name suggests, it is in cross formation and surrounds two quadrangles. We're approaching the southern one. To the west and north are the stunning lodges for 25 inmates. These houses are notable for their tall, elegant and regularly spaced chimneys. The doorways lead, so I read, to four sets of apartments. The hospital still provides accommodation for a total of 25 elderly men, known as brothers, who are under the care of the master. There are two charitable foundations here, the Order of the Hospital of St Cross, who wear black trencher hats and black robes with silver badges in the shape of a Jerusalem cross. The other is the Order of Noble Poverty, who wear claret trencher hats and claret robes with a silver cardinal's badge. So you should easily tell them apart should you bump into any on your travels. The place is immaculately kept and architecturally stunning. Just look at that fabulous gatehouse. Why don't we make buildings like this anymore? These magnificent buildings will still be here long after London's dreadful gherkin or the dome has rusted into oblivion. The hospital is also known for its wayfarer's dole. This consists of a small horn cup of ale and a piece of bread. The dole was started by a Cluniac monk in the dim mists of time and incredibly the ancient tradition continues to this day. The ale and bread can be obtained by anyone asking for it at the porter's lodge. If only we'd known. 
I enjoyed this walk very much. Sadly, we didn't venture inside, but will do on another time. I'm grateful to Nick Tan for taking me to the Hospital of St Cross, and I'm sorry for losing the original audio. I'll play out with some of Nick Tan's delightful music. Check him out on his website, you might like it too. And until the next time, thanks for watching. Thank you.